I'm so excited about our first guest. She's been a friend in my head for as long as I can remember, which it actually dates back to when she won Miss America and I was in college. And just, you know, she's talented, she's a mother, she's successful. You can currently see her on her Emmy nominated, or as her Emmy nominated role. She's the wicked Wilhelmina Slater in ABC's hit comedy series, Ugly Betty. Take a look. You're not gonna beat me here, Betty. You may own a third of the company, but I am still editor in chief of this magazine. You have no moves in this chess game. Daniel, I play chess. You're playing checkers. Either way, <clears throat> you have no moves. Oh. Oh. Please welcome the fabulous Vanessa Williams. Thank you. Look Mom. at your shoes. Sergio Rossi, honey, I had to uh, get That's amazing. And they're new. And they're new. They're brand new. I came up with the outfit just to start off with the shoes. Yeah, you know what? The, the cuff looks great with Thanks. them also. Thanks, yeah. Thank so look, you. Do, you, do you get, I know you have a huge wardrobe uh, for Betty and some really fabulous clothes. And I wear none of them. No, because it's, it's all wardrobe. Yeah, so, yeah. so this, is, this is me. Those mm -hmm. are fab. Thanks. Those are wonderful. All right, Thanks. so Vanessa's here. It's great to have you here on the show. Congratulations. Oh, and congratulations to you. I'm so happy that you're Thank on TV. You. In my head, we've been busy this summer. I've been busy with the yeah, show. Exactly. And you've been busy with Betty, which is now in New York. Exactly. And you guys have moved. You're located out yeah. here in New York. Well, we shot the pilot in New York two years ago, huh. then do t did two seasons out in L.A., and then Bloomberg passed this tax break, and now there's 35% off of all production. So they decided to move us back from L.A. Okay. Yeah, so that's why In Treatment also is coming back to, to New York. So there's a lot of stuff that's coming and moving to New York. Yeah. So, yeah. so how are the kids adjusting? Because you're, well, you're a New Yorker to begin with. I'm a New Yorker. I had to pull my little one out of school from here. So she went to school out in L.A. last yeah. year. Pulling her out again, and she's going to come back to New York. So at least they're coming back it's home. Sasha. Sasha, yeah. She's the same age as little Kev. Eight. 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 Third grade. Yeah. yeah. Now, does she have a lot of friends out there? Or is she it a big... did. She, she, but you know what? She's one of those resilient kids that'll, she'll be fine. And Gaga's here to help out. Gaga's here. Her siblings yeah. are here. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. Yeah. Do we have the picture or do I show it up um, of Vanessa and her children? You just... Four children, two marriages, everyone gets along. It's just a beautiful, look at that, everybody. Just beautiful. Yeah, yeah those, are, those are all the kids. Both the girls are in college in the city here. And this is the kind of family where Herb Ramon, right. your, your first husband, right. can be at the house during holiday. Well, and well, we, we yeah, we all we all have holidays together. And then Rick yeah. can pop over. Right. Your second husband, <laughs> Sasha's um, right. father, he brings his son, and as everybody well. gets yeah. along. Yeah. yeah. How does that work? How do you make that happen? Um, well, like the kids, the kids are definitely our our focus, yeah. and our our two sons, Rick's son Kyle yeah. and and Devin, are our brothers. Yeah. And that was probably the de most devastating thing for for Devin. He said, "What, what about my brother?" When we split up, oh. so um, they text each other all the time. They see each other. They just. <laughs> Technology. <laughs> exactly. But, but we're like a, a nuclear family. So. so now that you're back in New York, mm -hmm. um, do, do you, did you bring like help with you from out there or do you have to hire? No. Um, I have one nanny who went to high school with me that I've had for 18 years. So basically she's a friend of mine. So she's, you know, Kathy. Uh, yeah, we were at the bus stop together. We went to high school together. And when, um, you know, when I had, I had no help for the first one. And when but I had the second one, I, I, Kathy's been working with us for, for 18 years. So well, that's that shows it. what a that's wonderful all. woman you are. But and I don't want people up is. in my house. I don't want, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, you, yeah, you, yeah. You, you like your privacy. You like to cook your own meals. But the one you went to school with? But I, well, she happened. Were you a mean girl, no. all pretty and whatnot? <laughs> you know, like, how does that, no, I was no. just saying, like, how does that work? It worked. Both of our dads were fire commissioners. Okay. And um, when I came to do, I was doing uh, the Comfort Zone album. I was, yeah. shoot, I was recording in Philly. Oh, yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So um, 
at that time, I had, uh, Melanie was three. I think I just had Jillian. She was like uh, one or so, uh -huh. uh, six months. And I came, my, I stayed with my parents because I had to go to work in Philly. Uh -huh. And um, I had hired a nanny, and all of a sudden she said, I can't travel to New York, and right. bailed on me. So my parents were both teaching at the time, and they said, well, during the days while we're, we're teaching, let's ask Kathy if she can babysit. Now, and Kathy's been with me for, you know, 18 years. Wonderful. Yeah. That's yeah. good and very comforting. Absolutely. Very comforting. Yeah. So now you were born a beauty queen. Can we show the picture of Vanessa queen. when she was four years old? Look at this. What is that? Is that Gaga, Maya? you guys turn out uh, <laughs> yeah. some really beautiful oh, children. God. Your brother is very handsome, too. But you, yeah. Vanessa, you just, well, thanks. you know, just so um, <laughs> at the point of me going away to college, I went to school in Boston. Mm -hmm. You were in Syracuse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you got your Miss America thing. There was something extremely comforting and big about mm -hmm. this black woman mm -hmm. from like my part of the country. But remember, that was the year there was five black and there was five women of color, it, which yes. had never had happened. Yes. It was 1983, and it was Deneen Graham, who was uh, from North Carolina. Ooh. There's Amy Keys from Maryland. <laughs> but this was the year that there were, you know, the odds were fantastic. Yeah, yeah. These were all women of color, and it never happened before. There's usually one. And yeah. so that, that was a huge deal. And then the idea that it did it wasn't all perfect. I know it ended up perfect. You know, now you sit here, life is perfect. But, 25 that, years later. Later. 25, 25 years 25 later. Years, yeah. But you know, even the little the, the little Playboy thing, mm -hmm. and I just want to zhuzh over that for a minute to say Jush. you have really <laughs> I love how I want to zhuzh over it right now. Carson Presley. <laughs> right. Another person who's been here on oh, yeah, Exactly. So. so so I you know uh, it was big that you yes. had this huge thing, you mm -hmm. became Miss America right. and then you weren't Perfect. Yeah, but it was 11 months. It wasn't like it, uh, you know, went away. From, I, I right. traveled uh, all over the United States. I had, uh, you know, dinner with the, the president at the White House. And, and then the pictures done... were discovered. Yeah, yeah, but I was a of major... Of that woman. How yeah. you doing? Well, <laughs> I don't know how she's doing. <laughs> no, but the point that I was going to yeah, make yeah, yeah. is that Gaga... Right. And your dad yeah, yeah, yeah. really converged together and helped their daughter in a time of crisis. Oh yeah, but that's all. You, your your family's where you go to. Yeah, and that it was. I was more embarrassed for them than anybody else. Yeah, yeah. Because, so once I was forgived, and they, you know, was were completely there with open arms. Yeah, there was no issue. I could I could move on. Yes, mm -hmm. and we will. <laughs> Listen, more with Vanessa Williams. And, oh wait.